Hello there. Uh, this is a promised description of my photo. Um, so, what is important in this photo is basically this very famous constellation. It's shaped in W. Uh, it's Cassiopeia. Uh, another thing which is important here uh, is the Perseus constellation as the point from which uh, the Perseids are like coming from. It, it doesn't mean that uh, these, uh, this meteor shower you can see only around, uh, around the Perseus. It means only that every Perseids that you see or every shooting s star you see uh, comes like from, from a single point uh, in this constellation. But what you may see is the shooting star here or here or not not very commonly but uh, you may see on, on the opposite side of, of the sky but uh, still it has the direction like coming from this constellation. Uh, what you see here or the direction of this photo is north, slightly northeast. Uh, you may you may see like right here uh, it's the uh, Polaris, so you may see this is this is this points due due north. Uh, well, the the reason I know this is this is not a Perseid is that uh, this photo has been has been shot it uh, in 30 seconds exposure, and in the next photo I have right after this one, this line continues here, so. Uh, you, you understand that you can't really have a shooting star for more than 30 seconds. Uh, basically it doesn't look like a plane, because common planes are blinking during the night. Uh, so I say it's some kind of satellite or some kind of, of plane that's not like common travel plane. Also, um, well the glow here uh, you may notice, like here and here, it's coming from cities. Uh, my my place for shooting isn't the the, the best in the world, but these um, directions are the only direction where I can see the the what we call the light pollution, where you can hardly see any any uh, stars. What's also interesting here is this like nosy object it's it's not really visible but it's it's really there it's the what i've mentioned is the andromeda galaxy let me do i have it what i should it no uh, so andromeda, andromeda galaxy yes this is it Yes, it's it's this this nice galaxy. Um, what is it known for is the one of the most distant objects you can see uh, with unaided eye. Uh, it's not that big. Uh, well, it's not that big in this photo. On the other hand, uh, in the in the real sky. It's five five times bigger than the full moon. Uh, it's just not that glowing, but once you use uh, any binoculars or anything, you'll see it. And if you have if you do uh, such long exposure photos, you'll notice uh, it's it's right there, and it's really easily to find by these three stars. Well, the Andromeda constellation. It's like this is this is the end of Andromeda Lex. Uh, like these are the legs, and the Andromeda is really a huge constellation continuing right there, and it's connecting to the to the Pegas. What also I can mention is uh, like our own Milky Way galaxy. It's something you can see, like here and here. Here you may see some like gray gray spots. Well, this is the uh, this is the uh, the Milky Way, 
And what is Milky Way is uh, like the the direction of, of to the, to the center of uh, well, it's not the center of our, our galaxy, but all of you probably know that uh, the galaxies are or most of galaxies are flat. So what you what you see when you when you look on the uh, in the direction of the uh, of the a galaxy is uh, such uh, glowing spots. Uh, it's a uh, mostly mostly dust and nebulas and many uh, clusters or star clusters to shoot uh, the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, you need to do really like in in my place. I need to do. I need to set up my camera to uh, higher higher ISO setting. Um, but at the moment, I was just photo shooting the shooting star, so it wasn't it it wasn't set up to be uh, so so sensitive for the light. Uh, also. Uh, to take pictures like this, you need to be really out of uh, out of any city, and also this is uh, the center of our galaxy. It's in the constellation of Sagittarius, and to see it, you need to live much southward than uh, I am at the moment. I can see this place when I when I get to a huge hill uh, and uh, look to the to the very south, but uh, to really take this uh, this photo you need to live directly directly in the in the equator uh, this photo has been shot it in the in the chiller i guess oh uh, well it was i think that's it oh one more thing uh what's also here but it's very small but it's quite quite nice and quite interesting to try to see um uh, by your eyes, I, I guess it's it's not possible to see this um, in Singapore because it's on the very north. So so this picture really relates to how much north or south you are because on the uh, on the equator the the polaris looks is is much much lower than in my than in my photo. Uh, so seeing Perseus in this time of the year. And the equator is probably not the not the best idea. I don't I don't I don't know. Uh, I don't really remember uh, every place and how how the stars look look alive uh, there. But this uh, is what's called Alpha uh, Perse cluster. It's very nice. You may you may see it's very very blue if you get uh, to the really dark skies. And I personally, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not as famous as, as other open clusters, but in my opinion, it's, it's very nice. So, this is it.